All right, welcome back to Split Decision. This week on episode 41, we're back. We got to recap UFC 300. The greatest card to ever exist. Definitely the greatest card to ever exist. The greatest card I've ever seen. The most excited I've been. Cool fight announcements. Max Holloway is the BMF. Max Holloway is definitely the BMF. Uh, three title defenses. Or no, one title exchange, two title defenses. It was a very fun weekend. We have top five athlete nicknames. And then we're coming at you with seven of our own picks each to wrap up the week. Make it an even uh, ten picks, picks a week to round off week ten. And uh, yeah, that'll wrap it up. So yeah, let's go. Ready? All right, top five this week. Top five athlete nicknames. I this, like it. I like it too. This is one of the most fun uh, researches we've done. There is so much to choose from. Yeah, there's almost any sport. Like they have like. Well, every sport. Well, there's just some that it just doesn't make sense to us. I guess that would be. No baseball, Nick. Just joking. I have. Uh, I've I have picked like pretty much a list by like the top four big sports or like the top five athlete nicknames if you will <laughs> it makes sense wow there we go so top five athlete nicknames i think i have the first pick in this one you do ma'am and i'm gonna go with one everybody knows some people are not might not even realize it's a nickname my number one pick athlete nickname is tiger woods eldrick taunt woods eldrick tiger woods i mean who doesn't know tiger he's the face of golf uh if Dude, you just say the word good, he's like taking up all the screen time at the Masters a couple weekends his, ago. Yeah. I watched it while I was at work. He, Everybody's watching Tiger. Yeah, he was like not performing well. and He made the cut and finished last place out of everybody that made the cut. And still he was, they had a camera just following him. Him, um, him and his group, it was great. I watched, that was most of the coverage I watched was Tiger he's Woods. He's the most coverage. popular golfer. He's the richest golfer. Most successful golfer when he was in his prime. Uh, Tiger Woods, he made golf like mainstream and he has a great nickname who doesn't love tiger yeah that is a uh it's a it's, cool nickname it is a very cool nickname and like you said it's one that a lot of people won't even no don't even think is a nickname and they think it's his real name they think, and everybody knows who tiger woods is even if you don't follow any sports yeah, or like see, golf. i think i think that's one of the things that's important he's one of the guys that transcends everything well i think when for especially this top five if you're picking like a nickname of some dude that nobody's ever heard of, it's not a good pick. Well, unless it's a cool nickname. Oh, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. So that's my number one pick, Tiger Woods. Why don't you give me your number one pick, Alex? The Juice. I'm going with O.J. Simpson. R.I.P. R.I.P. Although nobody's saying that. They do not want this guy to rest in peace, which, not getting into that. Uh, the Juice is a great nickname. I mean, if your name's OJ, the Juice is the perfect nickname. Right. I mean, it goes hand in hand. I uh, just think the murders kind of take away from your pick a little bit. A the little alleged, bit. It's a the very, alleged. it's a very hard, strung first pick. But I'm not going with what you did in your life. I'm going with what you did to earn the nickname. The Heisman Juice. Trophy, one of the best he, running backs and in his of his time. And R.I.P. OJ died April 10, 2024. It. Not a great guy, great it's a football player. Bold pick. I think you could have got that at number five. <laughs> oh well. I'm going with OJ the Juice. My draft might be wild this week, but I realize something. I like what I like and it doesn't matter. Alright, so OJ the juice OJ, is your number one. The juice is my number one pick. Give me your number two. Man. I gotta go. With another, another another iconic one, I'm gonna go with the notorious Tom another, McGregor. Another bad dude, but a name that transcends it. If you know, if you hear the name, the notorious Conor McGregor. Said, I disagree with you because I think his name is more is bigger than his nickname. I think there's plenty of people that know hand. Conor McGregor that don't know his nickname. It goes hand in hand for sure. I think the notorious goes hand in hand. With Conor McGregor, I think if you hear his name, you're not surprised. You've heard his nickname. You know his nickname. I think the notorious is Conor McGregor is a great pick. It's not a bad pick, and I don't care what you think. 
Not a bad pick. Uh, What's your number two? My number two pick, it's another one where I think most people don't even realize it's not this dude's name. He was one of the greatest NBA players of all time. He's a great owner, still around on TV. I'm going with Magic Johnson. I mean, as a point guard, he was a almost seven foot point guard. What other nickname describes you more than Magic? Yep. A big guy. He can move down the court. He has the handles. He was great. He, he got, got some AIDS. other magic in him too. <laughs> he had charisma. He, he pretty got much got what he wanted. In him too. He got what he wanted and a little bit of what he didn't want. What Mag- did he not want? Irving Magic Johnson. He was a NBA champ. He was a NCAA champ. He was part owner of the Dodgers. He's been GM of the Los Angeles Lakers. He's been on TV. Great. I mean, Magic Johnson. Magic is a great nickname. Is he like the least affected by AIDS person there has ever been? Well, yeah, he's the proof that they always say like, yeah, there's a cure to it because if you just have money, you're fine. It, yeah, that's pretty much the, the narrative I've heard so far. Magic so, Johnson. Magic Johnson, my number two pick. What's your number three pick? My number three pick is going to be another Laker great, and this is actually my guest pick from my beautiful girlfriend, Clara. I asked her to give me the best athlete nickname, and she gave me the Black Mamba Kobe Bryant. Oh, nice. Good pick. Kobe Bryant is iconic, and his whole persona, the Black Mamba, was about being ruthless, about striking, about just being clutch. I mean, I think Black Mamba, you think of that name, I think his charity's named after that. Everybody loves Kobe Bryant. Yeah, it's hard to hate on Kobe Bryant. It's hard to hate on that pick. It's a good pick. I agree. I think she did a great job with that pick. I can't be mad at that. Kobe Bryant was a legend. Basketball, a lot of basketball people have pretty cool nicknames. Like more more than you would expect. Basketball's a good nickname sport. Yeah, basketball, baseball, those are two really big nickname sports. Uh, UFC, (laughs) obviously, because everybody has a nickname or most people have a nickname. Um, My third pick, I'm going with wrestling. WWE. Oh. Stone Cold Steve Austin. That is a good pick. Uh, it's, I mean... Is that a nickname, though, or is it a character name? Well, it's a nickname. That's like saying Ross from Friends is a good nickname. Well, what do you think of him as? Do you think of him as Ross from Friends? Or no, do you I think, think of him, him as, as David, Steve Austin. Or do you think of David him as Schwimmer. David Schwimmer? I think of him as David Schwimmer. I think of him as Ross. Because what else did he do after Ross? Or after Friends? Maybe that show Joey? Maybe. I think he made an appearance in Entourage. He did make an appearance in Entourage. <laughs> as himself, as, as David, David Schwimmer. Schwimmer. Not as Ross. But everybody thinks of him as Ross. They're like, oh, that's the guy from Friends. I mean, if you're going to go, you know what? You win WWE and that's not even the best one. Who's the best one? Well, you, you may find out. All right. So my fourth pick is uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, I, I just wanted the two for Yeah, The Rock. Uh... Obviously, this is, like, probably the number one. I'm just happy to have gotten it at number four. Um, you could have easily got OJ at this point and gotten the rock number one. <laughs> right. I don't know what I was thinking. But it doesn't matter. I got them all anyway. I'm collecting them like Pokemon. Uh, the Rock, nobody knows him as Dwayne Johnson. I guess people do now because he's a, a movie star. But growing up, nobody knew of this guy as Dwayne Johnson. He was no, only the rock. the rock. He was the rock most into the past, like, Probably like yeah, in movies, 10 years. I, I want to say, unless this is like one of those Mandela effect things. No, he was known as The Rock until like 10 years I ago. I want to say like on the movie posters, he was The Rock. I'm pretty sure he was. Not Dwayne Johnson. But yeah, The Rock is like one of the most iconic nicknames of all time. Like I said, I'm happy to have stolen it at number four of my draft. Getting a Stone Cold Stunner in there right beforehand. Yeah, that's three and four. What you got? So my next one is a guy, he, was, he had a great NFL career. He was famous in the NFL. He played in the Major League Baseball, and now he's a college football coach, and everybody still knows him as his nickname. I'm going primetime Deion Sanders. It's on my list. He's one of the most iconic uh, athletes of all time. He was a dual sport. He's one of the only guys that went MLB and NFL, played both at the same time. And, like, did well. Did well in both. Right. Was Hall of Fame in one and was very good in the other. Yeah. Uh, and then he became a college coach where he, his first year, I mean, at Jackson State, he did great. First year at Colorado, he didn't do the best, but they were one in, they won one game before that. They won four games his first year. I think they're going to do better this year. Right, but it was more like the optics of how the season started. They, they, they had a huge upset win 
in, the, in week one. In they week started one. like three and zero, and then won one game the rest of the year. But, but it was a hell of a performance to start the season. Hell of a performance. Everybody's talking about him. Prime time. Whatever you think about him, he's one of the most. He's uh, only got like three toes on one foot. I, he's one of the most. Yeah, that's true. Iconic, <laughs> Which is like, crazy entertainers in American sports history. He's Prime, also like a, bar, a part-time barstool personality. Prime time. Deion Sanders, my number four pick. That's a good pick. That is a good, good pick. And then my number five pick. I mean, we're a UFC podcast. So I got to go with one UFC. And it's another one, just like my first two ones. Who do you think is the best UFC nickname? Well, I'm about to tell you what the best UFC nickname oh, is. Oh, shit. It's Mighty a guy- Mouse? <laughs> that is a good one. That is not. a good nickname because it's because of his size and everything. This yeah. is one that even when he fights in the UFC, they don't even put his real name. They just put his nickname on there. He just retired recently. The Korean Zombie. I don't even know his first name. <laughs> Cause, Park just because you is his can't last pronounce name. his first name. <laughs> The Korean Zombie, I mean, that's a badass nickname, especially for a guy who, until his last, literally his last fight... Against Holloway. Shout well, out. he was knocked out against Yair, too, but he was known as, like, having an iron chin. He kept walking forward. He was an exciting fighter. And he that's the only f- reason he's not, like, he's not fighting is because his chin's gone. Like, Hulk, if he's not holding out like other guys where, like, they're just wasting their time. He has the whole country of South Korea behind him. I mean, Korean Zombie is one of the coolest nicknames you could come, especially for a fighter. Dude, his, la- Korean you remember zombie his last fight? Against Holloway? Yeah, but like the re- the reception. like Oh, his, yeah, like, walking out to Zombie, and the then song. The song on like, if you go look at the YouTube comments, they were just like his two Chinese or whatever characters. Or they do the uh, zombie uh, emoji. Yeah, yeah. There was, there was like 10,000 comments on the, the YouTube uh, Vivo, like, music video of that song it was pretty cool uh but yeah that is a very good pick it's a very good nickname so what's your last shout pick out works? korean zombie shout out korean zombie i can man there's just there's so many nicknames everywhere um honestly man let's go with king james lebron Who? james He's known as King James just because he's been dominant in the sport for how many seasons now? I mean, he was known as King James before he was dominant in the sport. Yeah, but he's been known for it for how long now? 20-something. 20. It's a crazy amount of seasons to be known for, to be this good. Now he's trying to play with his son next year. He's about to. I mean, at this point, he probably should retire pretty soon because he's... He's not playing bad. He's not playing bad. No, their team sucks. Their team sucks. It's like, (laughs) what what are you doing this for? To play with his son. Just to hang out? (laughs) Um, but yeah, King James, he's an icon in the sport. I just think wide regarded. He nickname. is great, but I don't think his nickname is great. My last name is King, so I, I put a lot in. I put a lot of. I like the King thing a lot as a moniker. Do you think? Do you think you're King because it's like an English name? And a lot of the names are like in jest. So, ours, so do you think like it was because your family sucked? Ours, and they're like, ha, King. That'd be funny. Ours is English. It's yeah. the old one that's the K-I-N-G-E uh, king, and it 100% is in jest. We are not good people. <laughs> uh, we do not come from greatness or anything like that. I'm not like royalty by any standpoint. If anything, we were actual jesters. There, There is some small piece of history that does point to that. Um, but yeah, we are, if anything, the least serious bunch of any people. So let's recap our top five nicknames. I have number one, Tiger Woods. Number two, Magic Johnson. Three, Black Mama Kobe Bryant. Number four, Primetime Deion Sanders. And number five, The Korean Zombie. And my number one is The Juice, O.J. Simpson. Number two, The Notorious Conor McGregor. Three, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Four, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And five, King James, LeBron James.